Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. For a break today, there's chocolate strawberry delight and sausage egg croissants. And for lunch, we have chicken fingers with curly fries, big mac and cheese, and taquitos. Who wants free food? Miss I is looking for an energetic and reliable person to work for her in the kitchen during the lunch service. If interested, speak with her before school or at a non-busy time at the end of lunch. Remember guys, formal dress is on Friday. Guys, remember, dress shoes, no athletic shoes. Girls, be vigilant on the length of your skirts and dresses. If you choose to wear long pants, they should be dressy ones. Loyal Marymount will be here today at lunch in the pack. And tomorrow at 3, USC will be here. Hey, fall and winter athletes, listen up. The end of the marking period is to Friday. So please get up all missing work and keep up those grades to remain eligible. Community service opportunity. We will be gleaning again this week and please sign up at the campus ministry office window this week. Mr. Garrity is looking for someone to water the plants in room 212 once a week. Mm -hmm. This service could go towards your work study or community service hours. If interested, please talk to him. If you would like service hours for tutoring honors chem 1, please go see Ms. K. International Club meeting today at lunch in room 300. Geek Week Club meeting Thursday at lunch in room 334. College night is at Cuesta College on Monday, November 4th. 70 colleges and universities will be represented from around the United States. Students should arrive early and plan their evening in advance by visiting the event website at www.cfsloco.org and by referring to the FAQ page. This event includes college planning workshops on essay writing, financial aid, and athlete recruitment realities are scheduled. Don't miss this important event that can help you find your perfect college. <laughs> Rile applications are due tomorrow. Hey, work study students. One third of your hours are due November 7th. And remember, Quest to College Political Science will be offered next semester. Talk to Ms. Chavney. Girls basketball daily practices will start November 5th. But the two mile run has been changed to Monday because... All players should be cheering at the cross country county meet at Laguna Lake instead. All girls planning on playing basketball should... There is a parent meeting on November 5th at 6.30 in the cafe. Please, your, please tell your parents about this meeting. Cafe cleanup is Hannah, Forrest, Chris, and Lucas. No sports today, but Thursday we have... Varsity Tennis versus Orchid Academy at 3.30. And Friday there's Cross Country at Slow County Meet at 3.30. And don't forget, Halloween Dress Up Day is tomorrow. But school appropriate and be modest. Remember, no dresses or skirts or shorts three inches above the knee. Unless long tights are worn underneath. But tights cannot be worn by themselves. Mm -hmm. No alcohol or drug references. No weapons, real or fake. This includes Nerf. Yes. No bats, no knives, or swords. But lightsabers are okay. No tank tops unless shirt is unless a shirt is worn underneath. Cash prizes will be awarded for best dressed. Judges are Mr. Childs and Miss Bailey Brown. And hey, we've got a video today. Our awesome field re reporter V Carp made this wonderful video. But by the way, it is about Orson Welles and not Orson Welles. Slight mistake, no big. Take a look. Hello, Mission Prep. I'm V, and I'm here to tell you about Orson Welles. Orson Welles was an American actor, director, writer, and producer who worked in theater, radio, and film. He is most known for The War of the Worlds. The first two-thirds of the broadcast were presented as a series of fake news bulletins, which suggested to many listeners that an actual alien invasion was currently in progress. The outrage and panic by certain listeners who had believed the events described in the program were real was quite extensive. The program's fake news bulletins was described as incredibly misleading by some newspapers and public figures. Although, all of the complaints was such a large amount, the episode began Wallace's fame as a dramatist. 
Hey, Kelly, where's Bart? Oh, Bart's a ghost today. Oh. Okay, bye. See you later. Allie.